All right, everyone, how's it going? Nick Rosita, your humble technology resource teacher, and behind the camera is amazing Glenn Colucci. We're gonna show you how to hook up your computer to the Promethean board and go through some of the problems that you're gonna have the first time that you plug in your computer to the Promethean board, okay? So, very first thing, you can see I'm logged in. We have the Phoenix right there, okay? Glenn is gonna get the black face plate at the front of the room. You'll notice a couple things here. The VGA and aux cord are plugged in, and you'll notice that the button is not displaying a green light, okay? Right now, it's not turned on, okay? So that's what we wanna see real quick, all right? Let's look back at the computer, and here's what we wanna do. We're gonna take our VGA cord, we're gonna plug it into the side, we're gonna take our aux cord, we're gonna plug it into the computer on the side there, okay? So now, we're ready to turn on the black faceplate, okay? I'm gonna press the button real quick, and it's gonna turn green. If you look at the projector, your green light up there was flashing. It's now turning on. The board is gonna start displaying, and we're in a good place. Now, initially, your computer might not display onto the actual Promethean board. Time to call Nick, and, Nick or Glenn. And that's true, you can do that, but there's a little shortcut. If you guys want to avoid having to Skype Glenn or myself, we can take care of that problem easily. So the first thing we want to see is this. We can see, oh look at that, the Rockridge Phoenix is up there, but none of my desktop icons are. What's the deal? So come on back over here. And this is what we want to do. We want to press function F1. We can see that we're on the extend screen. We want to try to click on duplicate. It didn't work. Look, our Promethean board still displaying extend screen. So what we can do is call Glenn or Nick, or we can go to our control panel. We can click on display. We can click on adjust resolution and where it says extend these displays, we can click on duplicate these displays. We're going to click apply, keep changes, click OK. And if you look at the board, we are now duplicating our display. Okay. Here's what's really excellent, of course. If I press function F1, I can extend. And then I can start moving things over to this screen. Look at that. That's pretty neat. We'll get into that a little bit later. I'm going to go back to duplicate screen mode. And that is how you connect your computer to the projector. The next video, we'll talk about pens.